So we're starting and the first thing we're doing is finding the edges or the corner pieces. Apparently that should be the way it's done. Unless you want to do hard mode. And okay, then... I don't want to do hard mode, but I am noticing that these puzzles, pieces, like on the surface, are really smooth. Yeah, there's like, like a feeling like there's like, like wax seal on, wax on it coated. or something. It's really cool. Um, and I'm also curious to see how long it takes for us to complete this 1,000 piece puzzle. This is a, what, what's the dimension of this puzzle? 1,000 pieces. 1,000 puzzle with, pieces and what's the dimension? I think it was like 27 by 19. 19 inches? Yeah. We definitely need more. So, pieces. some things are definitely missing still. I'm going to start piecing this see what I'm missing. What we're looking at right now, we can't see the big picture yet, but it looks like it's going to be pretty amazing. Oh, Shout out to uh, Harley oh, Carter yeah. for sending us to this because, I mean, we also have the other one. This one we're doing is the H.H. H. Holmes Murder Castle. Which we had on our episode 37 of our Behind the Masterminds. Right. Oh, actually, sorry, 34. Um, then we have the other one, the uh, Macabre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants to check out their game, this is actually a board game as well, which Harley did illustrations for, for HS Homes, for Blue um, Print Gaming Concept. Yeah. So definitely check out our YouTube channel for that episode, so you can find out how would you play an actual puzzle game on top of the puzzle. So I don't know if anyone's done puzzles that are not in like that regular square format where it's either like a 3D ball or like a all like plain a, white puzzle. Or like a round one from uh, uh, Hatch Escapes for Mother of Frankenstein. <sighs> yeah, so <laughs> I, I feel like bec th these are much um, easier in that sense, but 1,000, I haven't challenged a 1,000 one in a while. Really? Yeah, I did a. Uh, I feel like the last one we did with my sisters were like 250. No, no, no. We I were semi complaining. Like 2,000. Okay, well, how long did it take you? Uh, no, it was until... Yeah. Yay! The end. <laughs> okay, Brendan Chow, what is a hint or a, you know, helpful thing that you can tell people who don't play jigsaws much? What should they do? Well, the obvious one is if you want to simplify your gameplay, look for all the edges, look for the four corners if it's a square, but at mm -hmm. least you know what your corners are. Mm -hmm. Look for the edges, and then after that, or if you have a partner that's willing to help you, make sure that they start compiling all the same colors. 